In this version, we've added minimum travel time fire spread, or MTT fire spread. Those familiar with WUFTIS may know this model as short-term fire behavior. MTT helps managers visualize pathways across their landscape where fire is likely to travel and spread. Outputs are well suited for comparisons of fuel treatment effectiveness and location. You can vary fuels, weather inputs, or change treatment scenarios using edited landscapes to compare results. Today we'll go through the steps of running MTT. First, we'll go to the IFTDIS modeling playground. Select MTT fire spread from the select model dropdown and click create run. You'll notice the model inputs open with a split screen view with the map on the left and inputs on the right. We'll see a benefit to this in a second. First, choose a landscape from your drop-down list. Specify wind speed and direction. Crown fire calculation method and foliar moisture content. As well as initial fuel moistures. Select the fuel moisture conditioning method. If you choose not to condition, your initial fuel moistures from the previous step will be used throughout the landscape. If you choose to condition your fuels to account for landscape features and weather, you can use either if you just classified weather streams or use your own weather stream. And there is more information on that in the if you just help center listed in the MTT input section. Next, specify the ignition for your landscape from the drop down. The drop down includes all shapes or shape files points, lines, or polygons that intersect your landscape. For this example, I want to create an ignition pattern on the fly without leaving this model inputs page. This is where the split screen comes in handy. I can mouse over the map and use the Create Edit Shapes widget to create an ignition pattern. Save it in our project folder. And we see the drop down on the right automatically updates with this information. I'll select the new ignition. Barrier inputs are optional. They can include any line or polygon shape or shape file you've created in IFTDIS or uploaded that intersects the landscape. Barriers can be useful to represent non-burnable parts of your landscape, such as roads or water bodies that may not have been captured within the landscape file. Enter the simulation time, including the burn period length in hours and number of burn periods. Use this input to represent the peak fire activity per day in hours and the number of days, referred to as burn periods. Note that the weather and fuel moisture inputs do remain the same regardless of the number of burn periods specified. Choose to either leave spotting probability at the default 20%, which is recommended for most scenarios, or adjust as needed. Give your run a descriptive name. As an option, you could choose to save your inputs and complete the run at a later time by clicking Save. But for this example, I'll click Run and we can see a confirmation box indicating our model is running. In Modeling Playground, I can click the Status button to check the run status. It could take several minutes to complete. Once MTT has been run, you can view your results in Map Studio. In Map Studio, you can see a raster version of your ignition and barriers if you had used those. You can see MTT major paths, which displays the most significant fire spread pathways across your burned area. MTT arrival time grid and contours. This shows the time elapsed between fire traveling from the ignition source to that location. The grid is binned by burn period. There is also MTT rate of spread and fire line intensity for the area burned. 
In addition to the view in Matt Studio, these outputs can be downloaded to your local computer, as well as summarized in an IFTDIS summary report. More information running MTT, MTT inputs, and outputs is available from the IFTDIS Help Center Under the Modeling section, look for the MTT topic.